This is a book called Symmetries and Conservation Laws. Uh, it comes out of a course we've been doing in the University of London. Uh, so it's, it corresponds to 12 lectures out of about 140 hours worth of teaching. And it's given to the PhD students, the first year PhD students, the experimental uh, physics, experimental particle physics students. And it's called Symmetries and Conservation Laws. Uh, Conservation laws, well, in a sense, it doesn't go into those perhaps as mu much as it might do. That's a, an underlying principle, I guess, in, in everything in the book. But symmetries, that's very definitely part of what the course is about and what the book covers. And the subtitle for the book is An Introduction to Group Theory for Particle Physicists. Um, as I said, it was part of the lecture course we give to the, the students in the University of London. And it fits into a, a larger uh, set of courses. So there's also a course on the standard model. Uh, let's say it's quantum field theory, exploring different aspects of the standard model, uh, using Feynman rules to derive uh, cross sections and decay rates. And this provides the, the, the background, understanding the, uh, the classifications, let's say, of the, the fermions and the gauge particles. Uh, and it, it, it sort of underpins the whole idea of the gauge theory, which is part of the standard model course. Uh, so as I said, it, it's, it's primarily experimental physicists, um, first year postgraduate students who are just starting their coursework, and they're experimentalists. Uh, I too am an experimentalist. I work at the Rutherford Laboratory in Oxfordshire in England and I work on in the Atlas collaboration at CERN. So the approach is, is most definitely one for experimentalists. It's pragmatic rather than terribly mathematical. If you want mathematical, go and get one of the, the maths books on the subject. Uh, so it, it tends to try and explain things, provide some rationale without necessarily going into the, the detailed mathematics. Yeah, I've, I'm surprised I've had quite a bit of feedback. So um, one of the, the, the quotes I got was from an astrophysicist who uh, works in France and he said, I decided to buy XXX's book. I can't tell you who XXX is. I get sued. Um, he bought that book. Unfortunately, I also bought your book. And perhaps the answers to my questions can be found in XXX's book, but buried in mountains of abstractions. Your book, on the other hand, was as if it had been written specially for me. Each one of my questions were clearly elucidated. I was elated. Um, so that was a lovely quote. <coughs> and I had a, another correspondent from uh, the United States. He's a, a theoretical particle physicist, a professor, and he said his student had just uh, obtained a copy of the book and he said this book looks just like the thing for him. Um, so he thought it was a useful book. So yeah, I've had several uh, encouraging remarks about the book. Um, <coughs> you can get it from Imperial College Press, part of World Scientific. Um, go to their website, I'm sure it's available there and it re retails for £17 for the softback version and £36 for the hardback. Um, enjoy! Uh, all the profits from the book go to help people in Malawi, so please buy lots of copies, buy copies for your friends and relatives, it makes a great Christmas present or birthday present. Enjoy! <laughs>